BT, I just, uh, with those three kicks, tell me if, what's going through your mind on them. Yeah, you know, it was tough. Uh, felt like I had good preparation all week. Uh, got here today and I thought I hit the ball well and then I uh, just got out there and uh, things didn't go my way, but, um, you know, uh, had, to, had to get on the sideline and really think about it. Um, and I think that might be part of the problem, you know, uh, just trying to change something that I shouldn't have changed. Uh, but, you know, that's part of it, and um, I'll grow from it. But uh, just just thankful I got the opportunity to go back out there. Uh, BT, take us through the mind of a kicker a little bit at a level like this. It's a high level. It can't possibly be easy, like you said, sitting on the sidelines thinking about it. Do you think the first miss kind of set the tone for you and it snowballed from there? Or were there separate things that went wrong on all three kicks? Yeah, I think uh, a little bit. You know, I, I let it get to me a little bit, and that's just something that can't happen at this level. Uh, you know, every, every point matters, every kick matters, so uh, you just got to make them count when you get out there. I know it's, you know, people want to talk about the missed kicks and all, but you did make two and you ended up breaking a Clemson record in the process. Your thoughts on thoughts on that and becoming the all-time field goal kicker? Yeah, you know, it, uh, just sitting in there uh, with some of the guys and just reflecting on my career here, uh, I'm just thankful. Uh, Uh, a couple of years ago, you know, I just put a, never thought that uh, I'd really get this opportunity, and I'm just, just thankful for for everything that I've gotten here.